Five years since his last album, Travis Scott has finally dropped the infamous Utopia and paired with that a new movie called Circus Maximus. And to say this album rollout was underwhelming is an understatement. A mid-ass single, one of the biggest controversies of the decade, and three days of promotion under its belt, Utopia and its paired movie released recently in theaters. And as a massive Travis Scott fan and film fan in general, I had to check it out. I have to point out, this movie costs $25 to watch and is excluded from Amazon a list and I didn't even get the shirt with it so don't mind if I'm a little bit critical about this film all that aside I'm a massive Travis Scott fan and this film really excited me especially since the rest of the album rollout was pretty lackluster and I'm happy to say as a fan of his work in the album itself the film really did have me engaged before we get into all of my thoughts on Circus Maximus let me know you guys thought of the movie as well as Utopia as a whole in the comments down below but without wasting any more time let's get into it I mean this film is really weird so I want to preface by saying it's not like a narrative movie it's very much centered around the music within the album of utopia and it's split up into kind of different chunks that are pretty different from one another the first five minutes is something completely special and different and honestly really really cool and then you get to the first 30 minute chunk of the movie that feels like something very separated than the first five and then final 45 minutes of the film and this in my opinion was really cool this is travis scott's first film it's directed by him as well as a bunch of other directors and you see a bunch of different styles but i think the fact that there are so many styles doesn't allow for any of them to mix at all especially within that first 30 minute chunk where there is a slight narrative story going on but it's also mainly just a bunch of weird visuals and music videos the storyline i'm talking about actually has a hint of heart in it it's where travis basically sits down and tries to talk about the last five years and everything that has happened because again there's a lot that's happened with this man but i think what was really cool and honestly promising for the first first 30 minutes was the fact that it was so artistically driven even if at times it was just a music video and I have to also point out I am a massive fan of the album the album came out last week I just got to watch this movie last night and I went out of my way to pay $25 to go watch this movie so obviously I was gonna kind of be a fan of it if it is just utopia but with really great visuals but that out of the way I think that narrative storyline combined with the music videos gives the narrative storyline just a little bit less weight because it goes 30 seconds of a narrative storyline and then a three minute music video 45 seconds of a narrative storyline and then a two minute music video and i'd be lying if i said the music video element of it wasn't really really cool but i did prefer the latter half of this film where it's just basically a concert and i think it's because on an audio level you can listen to utopia on spotify whenever you want but those first 30 minutes didn't really do anything special with the audio element of it yes the visuals were really really cool but i I'm taking the album in with my ears and so it never really felt like anything different. It never felt like a different listening experience within the first 30 minutes. Now I'd be lying if I said it was a little bit difficult for me to get interested in the last 45 minutes of this just because since it is a concert it starts off with the songs in order of what the album is slowly it deviates away from that but the first three songs on the album aren't my favorite of the bunch and so i was really excited to just get to the latter half of the album and on top of that the first little chunk of it does lack a flair in general and then slowly it evolves into something different that i absolutely love and it feels like it's pure energy and it just feels very kinetic it feels like you are constantly moving you're elevated i am so excited to hopefully go to a travis scott concert for the first time now that utopia is out and this only urged me more to try and go because i felt this weird energy within a theater i was sitting there by myself watching a concert on a theater screen not even a full theater or anything like that and it was just the way that it was put on the big screen and the way that the sound was edited and it actually felt like something tangible rather than the first 30 minutes just feeling like a bunch of music videos once they kind of got into the rhythm of things I think it was exactly when Fiends started that was an absolutely amazing performance on top of that Sirens was already one of my favorite songs I'll be giving my top five favorite songs of Utopia in just a second here so stay tuned for that it was so visually enhanced here because even though you can see within the shooting of it that there's like seven different cameras you can 
can see a camera in the background of this shot in the background of that shot. I didn't really mind because everything again felt so tangible. It felt like it was moving all at once. And I also think the fact that I could see all of these different behind the scenes pieces moving as the song was evolving made me more interested in the entire set piece as a whole. Like I said before, they don't play every single song on the album. Most notably, the one that I wanted them to play was the Drake one, but it didn't happen. Also like no features are on there. So I think that's why the Drake one wasn't on there. The SZA and Future song Telekinesis is at the very end. It's around like the credits and stuff like that. Obviously Future SZA aren't there, but I think that's the only other one other than Fiend that also has a feature. Oh, until further noticed, it's not the full song. It's not the beginning chunk of it with 21 Savage, but the Travis Scott and James Blake part, it is absolutely majestic. It's like a different cover version of it. It's not the same exact thing. The instruments are a little bit different. I think it's basically all like electric piano and none of the actual instrumental from the, the song that you can listen to on like Spotify. But the final thing I do want to say is I definitely think the album is even further enhanced by the film. And the fact that I already love this album so much, I think says a lot. This pairs my favorite artist of all time with something I absolutely love, which is movies and film. And so I had to talk about it because Utopia is weird in the sense that obviously you're going to have that inherent comparison to Astro World, Rodeo, even Birds in the Trap, just because I believe Travis Scott's discography is absolutely amazing. And I've kind of leaned away from the comparison because this feels so different. It feels so unique and it feels less ragey. It feels more personal. And I kind of also got that through Circus Maximus, but I kind of wish I got a little bit more of that. Like I said, the first five minutes is something so completely different. It looks like a big budget movie. And then you get to the first 30 minutes where there is this cohesive narrative storyline but it's like for a minute at a time and you get these slow little glimpses and in insights in Travis Scott's mind about the Astro World incident, his life with Kylie Jenner. And it kind of takes the same elements of the song, My Eyes. And it does this cool visual element where it looks like in those narrative elements, you're looking through someone's eyes as they're blinking and it's this very narrow oval shape. It's an artistic choice that's absolutely amazing and it helps portray the emotion so well in such a short amount of time. But again, that moment feels so separated from everything else, but I kind of like it at the same time because it's paired so well individually with the album. I wanna give you guys my top five songs on Utopia. Again, let me know your top five favorite songs in the comments down below, but some honorable mentions, Meltdown, I Know, and then Thank God. But my top five is Fiend in fifth place, fourth place, Topia Twins, third place, Telekinesis, second place, Till Further Notice, and in first place is Sirens. I think Till Further Notice was my number one one, but watching Sirens in that theater, the way that the audio was edited, the, the music video element of it, it was absolutely awesome. But guys, that wraps up my thoughts on Travis Scott's newest film, Circus Maximus, as well as Utopia. Again, let me know what you guys thought of both of these projects in the comments down below. And are you interested in Travis Scott's future in the film industry? Because I don't know if you guys knew, but he's doing a fully infrared A24 movie, which just sounds absolutely insane. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.